Hello everyone. This is Kielce University of Technology in Poland. In this video tutorial, you're going to learn how to register as a candidate for one of the programs taught in English. First of all, go to Tech Kielce. Edu. PL and click the apply button. Choose one of the programs to create an account in the recruitment system. On this page, you can learn more about the program and its subject areas. Once ready, click the green sign up button and create an account. Read the information for candidates and accept the terms. Next click continue. Now you can introduce your credentials that will be used for logging into your candidate account. As soon as you click create an account, the system will send you an automatic email with an activation link. Remember, the email is sent automatically, so it can end up in the spam box. Click the link and log in to your personal account. Now when you have your personal candidate account, you can submit your application. Note, if the page is suddenly shown in a foreign language, you can always switch it to English in the top right corner. Also, for a better user experience, we recommend using Chrome browser on your computer or laptop. Now, to proceed with your application, make sure you fill out the personal forms. Personal forms is the section where you provide your personal data and submit education documents. It includes a few sections, such as basic personal data is the section where you provide information about yourself. Address and contact information is where you provide your phone number and your home address. Education is an important section where you provide information about your education and submit your education documents. Additional personal data is where you provide information about your identification document for example your passport. Let's start with basic personal data section. Remember, the obligatory fields are marked with an asterisk. After you fill out at all the required fields, don't forget to click save. After you provide your citizenship, there will appear another section which is called International Candidate. Choose your foreign status if you have any. If not, just tick I do not meet any of the conditions mentioned above and click save. Next, provide your address and contact information and click save. Another important section is photo. Remember, it will be used for your Polish student card, so the photo must be formal and of good quality. Make sure to get familiar with photo requirements before you upload your picture. When you're ready, choose the picture and click save. Next, make sure to crop the picture in the right way, so it would look good on your student card. And click save. Remember, the quality of the photo should be checked by the recruitment committee. Once they accept your picture, you will receive an email notification. Now, pay special attention to the education section. This is the most important section for your admission, so make sure to provide all the data correctly. Once you click save and add certificate, you will see an additional form to fill out. Make sure to provide as much data as you can, especially the number of your certificate. Click save and add your certificate. Remember, to add the scans of the original secondary school certificate as well as its translation. If your final grades are not provided on the certificate, please upload them as well in one PDF document. Additional personal information is the last section to fill out. Now when all the info is introduced to the system, let's choose the program. To do so, go to Enrollment Applications and click Go to the Offer. Next choose the program, but make sure to choose a program taught in English. Click the green Sign Up button once again to confirm your choice. A few last steps before you finish the application. Choose the source of education financing and check the declaration field below the continue. Now, there's a very important step to follow. Let's go to the enrollment application section to sign the application form and submit additional documents. You can download the necessary forms from documents and further steps. Once downloaded, make sure to sign them and submit to the sections called application letter and documents submitted in electronic form for foreigners. If everything is saved correctly, you will see the green check symbols next to each section. 
In the end, let's quickly look at the payment section. All your payments will be displayed there. Note that the payment section includes your personal unique account number. You're supposed to use it to pay the application and the tuition fees. Remember, each student has their own personal account number, so make sure to check out the payment section before you pay the fees. All good, now that you're registered for the program, we will verify your application and get back to you with our feedback. Also, you can always ask us about your candidate status by contacting us via WhatsApp. Good luck! We hope to have you as our student soon.